so guys this is the african motives media we are back once again like we never left this is the, the punchline and today we have another guest who will leave you smiling so uh, as my cameraman will show you we have a good guest with us here uh, and uh, to the benefit of my viewer you'll just tell us your name a bit of introduction about yourself so that to kujue kabisa all right uh, good good viewers my name is stanley museti aka master stan i know if if you are a good consistent online uh, guru you must have met this name somewhere so i am a disruptive thinker disruptive leader as well as a youth youth champion i've been blessed to be uh the firstborn amongst my siblings wow. and i'm so proud wow. of that wow i've said i've heard you mention the name master stan yes why the name master stan and where did the name come from <laughs> it's an interesting question thank you so much the name came while i was in form one mm -hmm. i was a jack of all trades mm -hmm. then and everything that i did people believed that I did it very well mm -hmm. so that when it came to athletics I would do it very nice when it came to poetry I would do a very good poem mm -hmm. so I became a master in my own small way so I've been growing in the same in the same regard just to build mastery in one thing so that mm -hmm. I don't become a master for everything mm -hmm. so that is why master stand so it's a mastery of stand a mastery of stand yes. becoming a master of everything <laughs> that is very nice and concerning about uh, uh, matters concerning about being a master and everything i have a question yes what is the definition of the word perfect what is perfect uh, perfect for me it is when you achieve maximum maximum results according to the set goals when you achieve maximum then you reach the perfection or the end point of that thing that you had put in okay yes. does it mean that uh, when uh, you you achieve something uh, in a way that you didn't expect uh, is, is it not perfect yeah it's very true that you've not reached perfection uh -huh. so you're supposed to be striving to become even better so that next time you achieve even to the closest end must the uh, must perfect be linked to achievement <sighs> good question not really not really not achievement alone but achievement is very subjective mm -hmm. in this fashion that anything you set yourself to do then it's going to be achievement at the, end of, at the end of the day so that if you're going to do a shoot in this particular way you're going to dress in this particular way you're going to talk in this particular way so if you're going to do it at the level you are best at that is perfection to me that is perfection to you thank you so much for giving us a good uh, answer about the same uh, I want I want you to shed some light. I have a good question here. Politics or leadership? Uh, for me leadership wins the conversation mm -hmm. all time. Mm -hmm. Because politics um my smuno put, put, puts it very well that a person who thinks about the next election and not the next generation that is a politician mm -hmm. but a leader is in the interest of people not thinking about the next election but rather planning as if he saw the next generation. D does it mean that when you are a politician you are not a leader a politician is a type of a leader mm -hmm. so you're just practicing leadership in politics mm -hmm. and a leader is not necessarily a politician mm -hmm. so politics is under leadership mm -hmm. not leadership under politics mm -hmm. uh, that's very interesting remember this the africa motives media we are, we are interacting with master stan and this is the punchline i am your host papa graham uh, as we come to the end of this show master stan we usually hear you talking about disruptive thinking yes. maybe within uh, 30 seconds just share with our viewer what is this thing you are talking about what is disrupt what is to disrupt <laughs> amazing wonderful it's an, it's coming at a time when africa is fighting a lot and africa is at is at a time where you, you need to think critically and by me saying critically i do not mean you sitting down somewhere and try to find solutions that are not in the vicinity so disruptive thinking is being in uncomfortable positions but you still can be able to come out of it through your thinking so this disrupting is you see the way systems have been formulated and the way people our fathers came up with systems they've put so that uh, you're supposed to go through a particular pattern so at this time um, we've seen that the pattern forward is not working at this time you need to cut the pattern in between and begin another pattern that is what i mean by disrupting so that that which was set if you are you're told you're supposed to marry at 30 
it's not working at 30. You can marry at 25 and it's okay. If you're told you're supposed to buy your first car at 35 or build your first car, build your first house at 40, you do it at 25. That is disrupting. You're disrupting every kind of thought pattern, every kind of uh, system that was put so that you do not, you, you, that uh, you, you have to undergo a particular process for you to achieve those particular results. So you're coming with a new, a new model. The model that is going to allow you to achieve it earlier, maybe, or achieve in a particular way that is suitable for this generation. Very interesting. Mambo is best in the world, as we usually say. And uh, coming to the end of the show, we usually have uh, one of the questions that is set by our viewers uh, out there. So what are the five things that people don't know about Master Stand? <laughs> Amazing. Number one, I understand that most of the people don't know that I'm an upcoming author. I'm in the process of writing my first book. Number two, uh, people do not know that... Um, Yes, I'm the firstborn of my family. Most of the mm. people who interact with me and they're like, maybe I might be existing in between there. And because... But you look like a lastborn. Yes, I look like a lastborn. <laughs> so people do not know that I'm a firstborn of my family. And the other thing that I think people do not know about me, I'm the only boy in our family. Oh, wow. And then lastly, people do not know that I'm a lawyer. <laughs> they think I'm Kikui because I can talk Kikui. They think I'm Kamba because I can talk Kamba. <laughs> and very soon they're going to think I'm Luo because I'm yeah. learning Luo. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You're parting short. Um, as a young person, it's easy to stay within your own thought patterns and begin to look at things as if they could not be better. So mine is an encouragement that begin to see things as they could be, not as they are today. Begin to see the days you're going to marvel at your own dreams, marvel at your own achievement, marvel at your own greatness by building now. Don't look at the blocks as as, as stones thrown by people. Look at blocks as cornerstones. So begin to build around it. Make that mansion. Make that building. Make that